bugging out here shortly. And I want to I want to throw my two cents worth. Go right ahead, counsel. And um, on the survival center, I'm absolutely convinced the survival center is able to raise funds. And I do, in fact, um, the five thousand dollar figure that you put on there is the one that I'm looking at, as opposed to the eight thousand. The survival center, I think, has done very, very well. This and the interfaith crop, you have the twelve thousand five hundred. I like that, and I like the fourteen five. When we get up to community legal aid, we're talking about legal funding, everything across the board in this in our in our city right now. Um, I would assume go with twenty six fifty five, same as last year's award. Um, they treated very. I mean, she spoke eloquently. She did very, very well with the money that we gave her last year. Um, Jen, um, What's your last Derringer? name? Derringer, yeah. Uh, and the SRO is at 13.7. Um, I'm happy with that. And 86 on Casa Latina. Um, and the Center for New Americans. So that's going to leave some money, in my eyes, left. Um, I like funding uh, the Center for New Americans. I, I like that. I've always, I think that's a, a great program. And the... Um, and the Literacy Project, I think as much as we can give the Literacy Project and the Center for New Americans, um, I'm happy. And I really want to see MANA get that $2,500. Um, we cut them by $350 last year off them. Um, Was um, it $350? Yeah, last year we cut them. Remember, by, they asked for $2,500, we gave them $2,150. Yeah, that's right. We'd very much like to give um, them that $2,500. Um, and, I, and wherever it goes after that, um, I have all the faith in the world in you guys. Um, but the, the, one, the, the real kicker for me is the Survival Center. And, um, and, and level funding the legal aid at 2655. Uh, we can kick these numbers back and forth. For fifty dollars here, or hundred bucks there, but um, okay. So, what counselor, what you're saying action? is new project. Yeah, that, that. I would, uh, to be honest with you, that youth readiness through community actions. I think they presented themselves very well. I think what they submitted in on um, their whole layout that they did for applying for the Community Development Block Grant was excellent. And I think it would be an excellent program here because it also will cover quite a bit of um, youths here in the city. I, I feel we should give them something. All right, well, we're going to have a chance to deliver yeah. it. Right, yeah. I, would just I, I would absolutely um, fund them okay. with, with, with whatever you can once you start shuffling this, the balance around. Um, there's nothing worse than leaving an at-risk youth out there alone mm -hmm. with nothing. So, Gene, your recommendation, you want 5K for uh, the survival center. Yep. You want MANA to get 25. Yep. You want community legal aid to get 2655. Yep. Uh, CASA 8600. Yep. And the Center for New Americans and the other one, um, the Literacy Project. Those are big for me. So what's um, your problem? I, know, um, I don't. I don't think we can really nail down the numbers because I'm going to have to do the math. Right, so I, just get this to. Well, I just want to get a sense of what. Yeah. So yeah. You, 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 but you want an and so you want uh, preference given to Center for New Americans mm -hmm. and for Community Legal Aid and I mean for Literacy Project as well. Yeah, absolutely. And the. Um, uh, the Grove Street and the Interface, I mean, they speak to themselves. I mean, those are great. Those are, those are, I mean, they're fantastic uh, um, the projects. And I, I'd like to fund them all with everything that they ask for, you know? But, right. um, you, but, and I know that's not true, but, or it can't happen. But the youth readiness, I, I, I know you guys are giving that a lot of thought. Um, at risk kids. Right. Like you, you got, um, you had some uh, bigger numbers for, uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. The, so you, you so let's see, one of the recommendations, 1310 split for Interfaith and Survival Center, right? And 
15 for a $17,000 request, possibility of 15 or 14.5 for uh, Grove Street, $15,000 request of 13,000 for 12. So which one are we looking well, let me at, just, counselor? Yeah, let me just explain. Yeah. That. Do you feel like you are good? Oh, yes. Yeah. So you um, can yeah, fill it any time? Yeah. Okay. Um, so the first, the first column would be kind of treating the community action project as a new one. And there have been years past where we didn't fund any new projects. So there was zero for the youth readiness, which allowed an, a bump up for community legal aid and a bump up for the ones that were at the lowest because we know with the data collection requirements below really 2,500, it just becomes tough. So I bumped the 2,150s back up to the 2,500 and then um, a little bit up on the sheltering programs and just a smidge decrease on the survival center. So then the next column is giving community action at least maybe a foot in the door to get at least a part-time person to address some of the Northampton youth, certainly not the 75 that they had mm -hmm. hoped to serve with the 15, but it, it gives them a leg up that maybe they can pull some additional. So how much is that? That was the 5000 in the next okay. column. It okay. just, it's a place to start, you know, the discussion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then that was kind of level funding everybody else. Yeah. Because um, I understand that when they make a request, they're, they're, they're picking a number pretty much out of the air, knowing that they're not going to get that much. Well, I think even 15000 is probably the threshold for right. even a part-time person once right. you talk about it's probably no benefits, it's just, you know, 20 hours a week for somebody. Yeah. So five grand, they really are going to have to pull other pieces together. Yeah. And, and they um, talked about doing that. Right. Yeah, they did. And then the, the next column does start to shave into the survival center a little bit just to maintain that 2500 as a minimum and bump up the community legal aid since... You know, there's so many families, homeless families, in the motels, not particularly in Northampton, but for them to walk in here and say they've kept 18 families housed, mm -hmm. and, huge. They're, and they're halfway through the program, it just felt like that needed to be yeah. maybe at least acknowledged somehow. But um, but again, this is this is really a place to start the discussion. And then the 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 final column is if you just really want to. Um, respect the program that is the most financially challenged and the growing Hispanic population in the community, the numbers of Hispanic folks in the public housing family projects and really just making sure Casa Latina still is around then you know you can, you can shake it up you can really talk about the organizations that we need to worry about going away and then it starts to, you know, impact some more right. ramifications in a more radical way, which would, you know, kind of just, I mean, we could, we could, you know, Jay, as I've said before, Jay Sacchetti's programs, it's a pie chart like you would not believe mm -hmm. of all the different funding sources that come into play for the shelter I programs. Know. And Jay, it, you know, Jay will make it work. And... He's taken one for the team because he's also taking on the Berkshire County sheltering programs because BCAC yeah. has imploded and um, it's there's several sheltering programs in the Adams Pittsfield area that now ServiceNet has a presence in Berkshire County and ServiceNet has been the logical entity to come forward to take over the shelter programs in Berkshire County so now Jay's high is probably going to get even more compl complicated because they're underfunded there as well, but I mean, we can have the discussion that they somehow need to, f I mean, they can they seem to be figuring it out, so but, you know, if we wanted to focus on something like Casa Latina I mean, it wouldn't have to be the survival center although we yeah. you know, she really gave us a good indication of just the amazing partnerships that she continues to create so yeah. I also, I, this community legal aid, I can see the motivation in this organization, 
and how they are working very hard to prevent people from being evicted. And that's been a big problem. Right. And, you know, we, we had always prioritized our highest needs as shelter and basic needs, mm -hmm. which is the food provision and yeah. health care when we get a health care application, which we haven't had one lately. <laughs> but it almost seems like those are the ones that are easier to fundraise for. Yeah. And, and with our funds, do we really need to, you know, the SRL, we always talk about them, forgotten population, they can't yeah. fundraise Right. They have so right. much difficulty. With the amount of money that the, that the Survival Center and the, and the stuff that they can raise, and Heidi is a hell of a resource. I mean, Jesus Christ, she's amazing <laughs> um, how she puts this together. I think, uh, and, and also, this CDBG money, I see this going away year by year by year to, to nothing. I don't know if anybody else does, but we're watching it disintegrate. Well, I did, um, after the first night, email my HUD rep and say, is it the 10% that you've told us to plan on and the other 5% in addition from sequestration? He never got back to me. <laughs> <laughs> he never to give and he always, he always gets back to me like within the hour. Yeah, well, so I'm thinking, you know, he still may not even know. So you're right. I don't know how low it's going to be. I think, I, 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 I think you both bring up the important point. It's about capacity to fundraise. And it's interesting the ones who actually are, who are subsidized in the main by fundraising mm -hmm. both spoke. I mean, Jay mentioned it, Heidi mentioned it, that, yes. and then someone else mentioned it last night about. The fact that this has actually been a good season for yeah, donations. Friends of the, so right. donations friends of the Homeless is, is actually the fundraising arm. You know, Yvonne's right. group, it's the private. Right. And she single handedly raises about $40,000 right. that she adds to ServiceNet's operational budget for the COT. Right, yeah. It's not for growth. Oh, and White does? <coughs> no, no. 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 And, friends yeah. of the Homeless. Friends. Oh, all oh, Yvonne? Yeah. And, and we're going to shake loose a lot more money in the next year or year and a half when the senior center is paid off. Well, we were still capped to the overall award for 15% for public yeah. services. Right. So, this is, yeah. right. And, but the, the, the reason I brought that up is that there are some agencies like Casa Latina, which is not particularly strong in fundraising or development. Mm -hmm. right. And in fact, they are, right now, they can't even devote any energy to fundraising because they don't yeah, have the staff they and they would lose yeah. their mission. So I, to be honest, I, I'm actually, this is kind of appealing to me, this call. Mm -hmm. I, I know it's a real, you did it this, this to scare the crap out of me. But, but, but I'm not saying that is the final, but I like the trend. I like the notion of trying to support programs that, and the thing about Casa Latina is it's a clearinghouse of resource information, right. and that is, uh, as opposed to it allows people access to the services that we're also funding that wouldn't know otherwise have any access to it or understanding or even awareness that they're entitled to some of these programs. I'm really moved by the um, understanding that the Hispanic Latino population in this town is growing and that this, the manner in which people respond mm -hmm. from that cultural group really depends on the power of Casa Latina. And, and their aggressive outreach sure is, is, yeah. is what really yeah. uh, brings, it all, brings it all to bear. They're, uh, yeah. I don't know, I, I, I just think it's a great program and as much as you can give them, I, I'm happy with it. Um, I gotta go. All right. Bye. Have fun. Okay. Oh, jeez. You can go see the same Gotta go 90, now 90 minutes at the school. That's fine. So you get to see the Bye. same PowerPoint presentation over and over again. That's it. So, Gene, this, you know, we'll draft this up yeah. and I'll send it to you tomorrow so you can okay. take a look at it and then we'll sit down with the mayor, get his read on it before we make any public announcements yeah. to the group. So. Thank you. You guys, uh, happy deliberation. Thank you. Have see a good you later. time. So it, 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 yeah, I, I, I mean, I, that's an important. You mentioned that as a point, and I think that's an important point: uh, the capacity to generate money and from resources that are different than grants and other things like that. But it, and Casa Latina can't even write grants at this point. They can't. They have they can't no, do anything hardly. Well, I mean, they barely can manage the services. And uh, and and you know, on some level, I'd also like. The fact that our award might possibly stimulate other communities who have not pulled their share in this regard, maybe to consider the fact that the, we consider them a viable and critical right. entity and that maybe that they are right. deserving of consideration um, for other awards from other communities that are served that benefit as well as we do. Um, and that's particularly with growing Latino communities and, you know, the, we all know 
the structure of uh, low mod housing in this town is unlike most towns where it tends to favor the town center, the, the urban center with resources, ours are scattered. They're in the periphery and there's no transportation access, there's no networking access, there's, the, you need a program like Casa Latina providing uh, contact in, and the community that um, Carol was referring to, that the, the, um, there's a great community resource tap there, it's just that there's no network in which to get connected. So. Now, can I ask you something? Associations within the housing authority, I might yes. feel a little mm -hmm. more encouraged, but mm -hmm. there are. I like the fact that, that mm -hmm. they are now actually developing much better relationships with the housing authority and mm -hmm. yeah. the circumstance that's good there. I think, you know, that whole, that's something to discuss further down the line, but having the housing authority provide them space to have a presence in on the campuses there, I think, would help, will go a long way towards reducing their their overhead and also provide them more access, but that's some, we don't have to work those things out for them, but, um, so, I, 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 I'm not personally keen on cutting the survival center down to five thousand dollars, just simply because I don't, I mean, without context, it'd be diff it could be difficult for them to understand, the, unless, of course, they watch this video and it's published, <laughs> to understand the, the, why are we are making the priorities that we're talking discussing? Can I ask you something, please? Are you all going to go with it? Yeah. Okay. This column here. Which column? Right here. And next to the last one that's headed up nine thousand. Yeah. And then you have this last column with just two figures on it. Well, everything else is level funded, you think? So, right? So that it all would stay. All this would stay the same. The level funding column would. So this one right here. Yeah, well, it would be equivalent to, it would be, well, the last year last rewards year. would be transferred to there. So okay. the, it would be, so. And we would bring up Casa Latina to the 12,000. Yes, and that would come on the shoulders of I don't the have a problem about the survival center staying at that 5,000 because they do do fundraise and they do get a tremendous amount of money. But that's more than half, cutting their award for more than half. So it's not even special level funding, it's literally cutting their award in half. So that's, I think that's why Peg grimaced, even though she put it on there. But I think that's... Well, how do you feel about it, Peg, since you put that figure there? I just was doing it... Um, Academically. To just, to just let you know that that's an option that you can take. You can, sh you can really <laughs> shift these things around. Because okay. in the past, the level of reduction from the federal government was what you applied across the board. Right, okay. We can't do that anymore because we can't take anybody below this twenty-one hundred dollar figure. Okay, well, it's just fair. we can't go any lower. So I just wanted to introduce the concept that you can, you know, you can really just play with enough. You can, you can do whatever you want, and it could, you know, you could just go big, and you could really shake it up based on what you've heard. <coughs> over the last three nights of interviews mm -hmm. and, and and look at your highlighted application. I mean, you've right. been through all these applications yeah. with a fine-tooth comb. Yeah. So. That's one thing I'm, I'm taking seriously is your comment that 2,500 <clears throat> has a kind of magic baseline to it in terms of reporting. That represents $700 if you were pulling these two up to 2,500. If you were taking 700 from the 12 and did 11.3 um, for Casa Latina and then level funded the others, I wonder if that's a possibility. Um, it still is, uh, is a nice jump over what they got last year. Um, All right, let's, let's right do that again. 2,500 for yeah. Mana and... And for um, housing. and for the, um, I guess we've got three. Community legal aid got twenty six last year, and you're talking about level funding that, which I, I still advocate for. But if I'm not mistaken, if if you brought that up to five hundred, which one? Twenty five hundred for the two. 
Which ones? The Manna? Mass Fair Housing and right. and Mana. Those are the two that got twenty one fifty last year. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you brought that up to twenty five hundred for each, right. that I I think my math is right that that's three hundred and fifty a piece or seven hundred altogether. Um, am I right there? Yes. Okay. So if you took that seven hundred away from the 12,000 that you have initially mm -hmm. proposed in this last column, then that would give them 11.3, still a good jump over what they got last year, um, and, and then could proceed from, from there um, so, to be... So 11.3 on that. Well, yeah. Now... This also, in consideration of what we're describing, means that we will not be funding youth readiness. Oh, yeah. At all. And that's, that's too bad, isn't it? So, I well, to, to Peg's point of do we, because we have numbers that are basically forms of expression of, of you know, in, in Casa Latina's case, is that we want to give a, a, a large endorsement and where a dollar for dollar value may actually be much more appreciated than in some cases. And with the Youth Readiness Program, I mean, we've considered this before with uh, unique or original uh, applicants to encourage them if we believe that their program has value for us um, of giving them an award, which would, if, if you go by what we were just describing, if we give them 2500 bucks, then we're back to uh, nine thousand dollar award thereabouts uh, for Casa Latina. And last year we gave them eight thousand six hundred. Yeah, so it's a four hundred dollar increase, but mm -hmm. it's not. I mean, I. So would you would you think that the question that I would come up, come to has to do with is this a population that doesn't have other resources? We the, were looking about whether it, the, the youth readiness right. program is, we were on the first night saying, are there any duplicate services for the same group? And, and or are there other resources? So I'm just there wanting are, to think back. These are high school students. There are other, actually, my brother-in-law actually does that. He does that counseling at the high school as well as at Amherst, I think. Too. He does that as a separate agency. As he does a, not appeal to. That's not this. That's does career counseling asking. for uh, special needs kids and stuff like that. And of course, that's part. I mean, that's part of what a guidance department should be doing as well. But right. I mean, they sub these out. I mean, you know, the schools too. have no that's resources it. whatsoever, and they're going to have even less resources this time around. I, I mean, which I was going to mention, given the fact that the looming cuts that are guaranteed. I mean, maybe regardless of what the numbers are, they're, they're guaranteed to come to the schools. And what's going to happen is there's going to be a number of SPED teachers cut back on, and in fact, a disproportionate amount of SPED teachers to the rest of the teaching community. Um, there will be an increased need for services like this. Um, so, I, I mean, this is our dilemma. This is the dilemma that we are presented with on a regular basis. It's, but that I, 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 CAC will probably prove to be an invaluable resource, offsetting some of the the cuts that are we're about to expect from the school program. Um, it looks like the Workforce Investment Act grant and all the other pieces that they've pulled together for this program is, is just a Franklin County program. So oh, really? I'm not sure that they There's can really do a, do a Northampton presence without, without something, something from us. Do we know if there's any grants that they could be applying for using the money uh, to leverage? Their, I, I don't know, they actually left in They've the got Greenfield right? CDBG, the WEA grant, Community Services Block Grant, which is Community right. Actions funding source, right. Mass Clean Energy, Community Foundation of Western Mass and North Central. So <clears throat> they've kind of already beat the bushes for the Franklin piece. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I know when I talked with you about 
this group. You had a lot of respect of this agency, being a new one coming in. Well, well it's community action. Yeah, community action. Right. The, the and it's almost, you know, we they didn't come back in for Generation Q or First Call. I think they're thinking that they didn't put themselves at risk. I'm think, I would imagine mm -hmm. that they're thinking they took out two other projects and put in one new one that they would kind of still but, reserve yeah. their slot. But it so, certainly would. You know, it's all homelessness prevention for me. It's just, you know, any, any time we can get kids on the right path, it's just. Mm -hmm. So, so we went how back do you feel to about this? well if we went back to the level funding for the two we wanted to bring mm -hmm. up to twenty five, that would give an additional seven hundred back. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, if I my math is right that we, we might be able to give ninety five hundred to Casa Latina <clears throat> if we level funded the others, everything as and made the changes that we've identified. That would be on five thousand for the new project, and twenty one fifty for Mana and Mass Fair Housing. In truth, I think Mana does pretty well raising money in the same sense that Survivor Center does. Actually, yeah, so, it was Carl was the other person I was thinking about who was saying that they had a banner year for fundraising. Yes. Carl said that. So um, that, you know, 9500 for Casa Latina is not 12000 or eleven three, but it's more than they got last year. It is a vote of confidence um, and respect, mm -hmm. being able to raise it uh, over last year, given the fact that we're level funding other things. I'm not sure I'm following your math. Are you, if, say we were in the, say we, where, where does Survival Center fall then? Okay, in that I would keep Survival Center at 5,000. Oh, okay, because I, I wasn't getting it. Yeah, yeah I did neither. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I would keep Survival Center, and, but that's right, I said level funded and that was wrong. Mm -hmm. I was speaking of that other group. Interfaith. Um, Interfaith, keep it at 12,500. That's what you have there? Uh-huh. Okay. That's the, that's what they got last. Well, actually, I guess you're predicating an assumption that the Interfaith Cot Shelter would get 12900 if level funded with what we gave them last year, right? Yeah, level funding would just be the last year's award call. Uh-huh. This one. Okay. And, and if we did... If we then did, if we if we went ahead with a five thousand rather than the larger amount for survival center, mm -hmm. and funded the youth readiness fund, um, maybe we just want to double check the numbers on that. I think that is likely to give us ninety five hundred for Casa Latina. So we're close to the second to last column. So we're you're close, describing. Right? You're going. Just, you're working just, that column, right? No, we're just we're just really, sort of fudging numbers really, around. Yeah, that. not really. I'm working. Yeah, as you say, Bill, I think it's more nearly the next to the last right. column. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, well, well let, no, let me because that raises up to twenty five hundred. So Manus, let's Manus so we're let's, keeping at two thousand five hundred, correct? So let's take it. From the top. Why don't we no, do that? So, so, your, so you want to go 9,500. Let's try that. Center okay. for New Americans level funding would be 8,365. Big Brothers, Big Sisters, 3,440. Mm -hmm. 13,772 for SRO. Oh. <coughs> Does that allow for the five grand for the new one? That one. Let's just see what that totals. Yeah, I think she was a lot. Twenty-six fifty-five. Okay. Thank seven you. seven forty. Where? What were the two twenty-one fifties? Where did they go to twenty-five hundred? No, I'm saying I think you need to keep them at twenty-one fifty in order to bump up. In order to bump up. Okay. And then fourteen six twenty. Twelve nine. Let's 
see where that gets us, and then we'll see where we're at with survival. Center. And the survival center at 5,000, correct? Oh, well, well, we're going to see that in a second. 9,500 plus 8365, 2150, 2150, 14, 620, plus 12, 9, that's 82, 292, so if we subtract 91, 324, minus 82, 292, gives us 9,032 for Survival Center. How much? 9,320. Well, can't we? We can do whatever we want. We just, that, that, she yes. just laid out the land, so if you okay. want. Okay. So could we add it some more on her counseling, too? Sure. From when would you take it? Huh? Take it. Where would you take it from? Wherever you'd like. I think you said. <laughs> don't. She was suggesting the <laughs> survival center. <laughs> it come down lower. Come lower down than 5,000? No, no, no. I just no, that announced was $32 is remaining for, uh, out of that total suggestion recommendation list that you just gave, we have $9,032 remaining, which could go to Survival Center, or we can distribute it throughout. No, that office. goes to Casa Latina. No, That's with, the Casa with Latina. Your, with your 9500 figure for Casa, oh, we and still everybody have, else yes. level, oh, fun. that we gave $9,000 oh, less boy. Survival Center. Oh, goody. Center. So we can oh, add. Goody. I'd like to add. Yeah. Sorry, I was some more to Casa Latina. Yeah. Right? Carol, what do yeah, you absolutely. Well, absolutely. Um, sure. Take sure. it from to ten. Survival season? Yes. 10, 10, five. Right. So how much higher for Casa Latina do you want to go beyond the ninety five hundred? If you give them you want to just bring it to ten thousand or you want to bring whatever it to, to, to whatever I want. <laughs> um, I I if you me, take five hundred dollars that gives them ten thousand dollars, okay. which is half of their request, mind you. But it's a, it's a fourteen hundred dollar increase. Is it half of their request? They're oh, requesting yeah. twenty thousand. Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. But I, I think that's I think that's decent. I think that's a strong yeah support. And um, how about uh, Manor? Well, that's level funding. What we just what Peg just tallied up is level funding Manor at twenty one fifty. Right. And the same thing with uh, Mass Fair Housing. But we still have extra money. We don't have extra money. No. We just we, it's. We have extra money if you consider that we're going. We were going to give five thousand dollars to yeah. survival center. Now okay. we're giving them more, which personally, I'm really concerned about giving them five thousand dollars because beyond what we just described, mm -hmm. that's kind of insulting. Based on you know, that's a huge cut, and if we aren't in the capacity, we aren't able to explain why we are making this significant cut. It looks punitive by my record. I mean, everyone yeah, else is getting level funded. for their success. Yeah, right. you guys are yeah, successful. Right. Good job, well done, we're cutting you by half. So I think uh, that's, that's what makes me a little squeamish about this. Um, so, um, so t say again what we've got to work with, 9,000. Well, that's the survival center. Yeah. If you want to take $500. It's not extra money. From, yeah, no, it's no a, but I mean, if, if you, uh, if we're... All right, it's it's ninety five hundred for Casa Latina. Everybody else was level funded. Okay, and then Survival Center was nine thousand thirty two. That's what Carol had suggested, and that gives the Community Action New Project five thousand. Oh, okay. Which, by the way, nine thousand thirty two was almost an exact re uh, reduction of a thousand dollars from last year's award. For for survival. for survival center. Well, I think that's fine. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, let me just add it one more time because last year I screwed up and we had to pull some more out of. 
Yeah. Program income that luckily crept in. So 3440. 13772 Oh, that feels good. Well, that feels really I good. I see that. I know. Uh, no, that's good. I mean, I think it's a fair that's disbursement. Good. I think, um, that, you know, I have no problem explaining to Heidi what our reason was. I think the people at the Sparta Center would understand. I mean, I, I, it, it's because, you know, if you take it in proportion of what is needed, in proportion of how well the money is serving, you know, our grant fund money for Survival Center doesn't go as far as whatever dollar we give to Casa Latina uh, in that respect, especially when Casa Latina is really kind of at a critical juncture. And whatever we can do to enforce them, you know, what we're offering is not enough to sustain them. It's not. But and I think you've made a really strong case each at each point along the way that it, that it, it, the 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 support signifies, right. and that that's really that's really uh, wonderful to think that we can give the support to signify for the youth readiness program, and to honor the Latino community, mm -hmm. um, and uh, and to be able to not have to shave. Uh, the survival center greatly um, feels like a wonderful. I just wish we I'm could so just get involved in to help them, Casa too in a huge fundraiser. Well, we can help them in any number of ways, not the least of which is lobbying the town of Amherst to consider. Yes, that bothers me. <laughs> I would be careful. Yeah. Yeah.